I'm Joe Walensky, uh, talking with some of the presenters who will be at our Convey UX conference in Seattle in February. And I'm talking today with Lauren Colton. Hello, Lauren. How are you? Hi. How are you? All right. Where are you? Uh, where are you talking to us from today? I'm coming today from Lansing, Michigan. Um, we got snow today. <laughs> All right. And no snow here in Seattle. Um, if you're not familiar with Lauren, uh, she works with a wide variety of content types in her position as information architect and editor at Gravity Works Design and Development. Uh, so uh, for your session at uh, Convey UX, the title is The Elegant Precision of Targeted Actionable Language. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what you'll be talking about? So the thing that really got me excited about this was when I was in law school, they started talking about plain language and this idea that the more concise your words are, the more you can speak directly to your users and really get across. And so I wanted to talk about ways that you could target different audiences and make it actionable to get them to complete the surveys to make the purchases from their shopping carts. Um, so it's just the linguistic tips, the things that you can do with your web copy to be found in search engines and to get people to do what you want them to do and to really reach out and engage users. Um, and, uh, yes. and, uh, what, uh, what are some of the things that uh, you'll be pointing out uh, into the session, in the session in terms of uh, challenges that and, and solutions? So one really big and important thing is jargon. A lot of people say these huge things that maybe the marketing department thinks it's a good idea or developers know it as a content management system, but to a person who's using it, it's just their website. There's no reason to break out the jargon if you're disconnecting from your users. Um, and there's tests you can do, like the close test, to see if you're using jargony words that no one can really fill in the blanks on what you're talking about. And uh, is, th is this uh, something that you uh, encounter in a lot of the projects that you work with? Yes. Um, so I get to work with a huge range. We're a pretty small firm. We only have 13 so far. Um, but. I get to start from the beginning, um, working with clients to develop their requirements, uh, setting up site maps, um, and then actually the content in inventory and migration, and then the search engine optimization towards the end. Um, I get to work with a huge range of clients through that whole process. Hey, with the uh, search engine uh, optimization, uh, what, what are some of the things that you get involved with there? Um, one of the big things is, again, going back to the jargon, when you're doing meta tags, don't use jargon terms, use actually the terms that people are looking for. Uh, I don't want to give away too much, I want people to still show up to my session, but uh, there's a lot of really interesting things that just by doing them better in your content, in your copy itself, you can actually improve your search engine rank. All right. All right. Well, uh, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes to talk with us about your session, and we'll see you in Seattle.